My name is David Kuntz. I'm Associate Professor in the Industrial and Systems Engineering Department. I uh, did my bachelor's degree in Industrial and Systems Engineering. Um, got my engineering in EIT, Engineering Training Certification. Worked for about six months and decided I probably should go back to graduate school. Um, so I went back to graduate school, got a master's in industrial engineering, as well as a doctorate in uh, engineering science. Came right here to Ohio University and have been working and researching since then. Well, I think one of the key things that we can do for our students is give them a, a set of skills that they can take immediately back to their job as engineering managers. So much of what our students have learned in their undergraduate days is directly applicable to being an engineer, but not necessarily applicable to managing engineers. So they come out with a tremendous skill set in a particular discipline like mechanical or electrical engineering, but when it comes to project management, budgeting, those types of things, it's not something they've learned. So we're an excellent alternative to an MBA for an engineering manager. One of the things that we do for our students is give them a set of skills that they can bring directly to their jobs as managers. So much of what they learn as an undergraduate in their engineering discipline is very applicable to being a mechanical or an electrical engineer, but when they move up in their organization and begin to manage teams and projects, those skills are not covered in an undergraduate engineering degree. So we give them those skills to stack on top of their technical expertise. I think I enjoy most the student interaction. It's very different from the classroom environment. In the classroom environment, uh, at least in engineering education, it's still a lot of chalk and talk where the students sit there passively while you lecture and then maybe interact some in a, in a small limited discussion. In an online program, it's much more focused on the student as the learner. So we build the content out and then if the student is responsible for taking that content in and then we interact through various means like discussion boards and blogs and you can actually see the the learning taking place it's much less them regurgitating back what I fed them and them bringing their life experiences and tying it into what's in the textbook or in the readings that we assign one of the courses I've taught uh, is EMGT 6100 the statistics course and I had a lot of reservations at the beginning could we teach statistics a very quantitative subject in an online format mm -hmm. and what I found in that course was the mastery of the learning outcomes by the students was actually greater than when we taught it in a face-to-face -face mode the students spent a lot more time learning the material and then coming back with questions that were very focused on specific topics as opposed to waiting for me in the classroom. So students did better in that. Another course that I really enjoy teaching is the information systems course. We have a wide variety of students in the program with a great variety of backgrounds. So we have students who haven't touched any type of computer beyond Excel and email since they learned Fortran and we have students that run data centers. So they bring their their problems, their examples, and the content comes to life and they begin to go back and forth on discussion boards of things going even beyond the syllabus. I really enjoy learning from them and their war stories. The topic where I think the students really get the light bulb coming on is when I teach database systems, which is EMGT 6210. As I said, many of these students have had very little experience beyond email, Excel, and word processing. And I throw them into a database system where they're actually required to install it on their own and begin to learn the SQL querying language because as managers often they'll be digging into these large databases. And there's a bit of logic and formalism that comes with these languages. And usually after a couple of weeks the light comes on and all of a sudden the students are, are doing the things beyond what you tell them to do. They're bringing in syntax for options that I never intended to cover in class. And, and it's kind of when they go beyond what I expect of them, it really, really excites me. Well, I think that for our students, what they've done is they've looked at engineering uh, degrees like a professional masters of science in their area and those typically are going to be very focused and almost always require that they pick up residents and move and work in a lab under a faculty member and for someone in their career that's just not viable. Our students will then look at 
an MBA program and look at the, the content in those courses. And while there's very good programs, they often include a lot of topics that really aren't relevant to the engineering manager, accounting, um, advertising, and marketing. Those courses are not something that our students typically touch on in their careers. So we give them some technical content, some business content, and we kind of are a nice bridge between going back and working in a lab or going and looking at the breadth of an MBA.